Sorry, it's been a while. I've been dealing with a bad injury that's been preventing me from playing more tennis. But things are on the up and up, I think. You know what else is all on the up and up? Hitting like, subscribing, and that notification bell for more original tennis content. But without further ado, this is the Kirschbaum Super Smash Orange Tennis String Review. To begin with, this was a super soft and slick string for a poly to string up. And without surprise, this string required no break-in period. From the baseline, this was a near-perfect string on all accounts. Top spin potential was really good for a round soft poly and the slices were perfect. The accuracy and launch angles were on point too. Although this is a really good string for aggressive baseliners and modern baseline players, this string was actually at its best when flattening out on shots, a common characteristic for round softer polys. These positives also carried into the volleys as well. From the stick volleys all the way to the finesse volleys, I was able to redirect the ball with pace and pop while being able to finesse the ball with slice and deft touch thanks to the soft nature of this poly. And for the serves, well, it was also perfect in every way as well. The slice serves were accurate and consistent, and I was able to dip it relatively short into the service box with ease. And the kick serves were pretty nutty, actually. The kick serve potential from this round poly rivals even the other shaped stiffer polys I've reviewed on this channel. What's shocking is that I could even kick it super short on the ad side for my opponent to scramble towards the adjacent court. And the flat serves were exactly what you'd expect from a round poly near perfection. But with the pros out of the way, let's talk about the cons after we talk about today's sponsor, me. Join me and my friend Andrew, who just got bumped up to 4-0 and TRP in Cali, while we go through one of the best action RPGs ever made, Baldur's Gate 3. This will be live streamed on Twitch, and if you can't make the Twitch times, go to my Gaslight Gaming channel. I'll link to that down in the description below where I upload it in a Let's Play format, and I'll see you there. Honestly, there is only one negative I have on the string. From the baseline, this is sometimes a little overpowering, mainly towards the beginning. But in all honesty, after about 30 minutes of baseline hitting, you dial into it pretty naturally to not have fear of hitting the ball unusually long. In all honesty, that's it for the negatives. Let's see how the tension maintenance is on this string. So after about five hours of straight hitting, this is now 29 DT. Originally, this is strong at 50 pounds and 29 DT is 42 pounds on my Yonix E-Zone DR98. So pretty normal drop off, not too good. Definitely not the worst, pretty average in my opinion. With so many positives and that one only negative, this is a damn good string that's kind of a hidden gem. A Kirschbaum is a very, very, very consumer-friendly tennis string manufacturer. And especially considering that one packet is only $7.50 US. So overall, this is better in terms of playability than some strings that are twice the asking price. Honestly, Everybody should give this one a try at under eight bucks a packet. And if you have already played with a string, did I hit the review right on the head or did I miss it completely? Leave a comment down in the section below or better yet, join my Discord where over 1600 daily members are talking about all things tennis. And as always, happy hitting.